Welcome back to our VE Day commemoration video. Um, my name is Sean um, Smiles, the director of Titanic Run and Glory Limited, which is bringing the exhibition for our freedom and yours to museums and galleries across the country. It's a great honour to bring some of the rare artefacts from our for our freedom and yours exhibition to life to show in the camera today. And what we have here is we have a British Mills grenade or a pineapple grenade. These were manufactured through many of the iron foundries throughout the country. This one in particular came from a local foundry called Cabin Ironworks. Particularly this one was known as a training grenade. It never actually had an active fuse in the bottom in the section here. So you can imagine these were used by soldiers during their training at basic training. We also have a British issued gas mask and as many of the veterans have had the pleasure of and the honour of meeting in care homes and talking to them and hearing all their incredible stories they would tell me stories such as it was not nice to wear this in fact it used to steam the lenses up and you feel rather hot when you're wearing them but thankfully for many of the generations of the Second World War soldiers they never had to wear the masks unlike the Great War the First World War we also have incredible artefacts from the Mediterranean field of battle, such as these anti-aircraft shells, which would have been used by the Royal Naval cruisers and battleships to fend off any Axis aeroplanes attacking the ships. They are quite long, as you can see, the length there compared to my, my hand. Very long, manufactured in 1941 as well. We also have incredible war medals, which these are two which belong to my late grandfather. This is the Polish First Arm of Division Cross that was given to all the veterans of the division for their campaigns throughout West Europe. And we have the Polish War Medal given out to the Polish Armed Forces 1939 to 1945. And it's such an honour and tribute to have this exhibition and to display the artefacts to remember the greatest generation of war veterans who are all heroes. And we have the British battle dress that we can see here in the camera. And it's funny, when we go into schools, children will try this on and they'll be wearing the jacket in class and they'll turn and say, why is it so itchy? Why, why, why is it so heavy? And it's very uncomfortable. And many teachers will say in class, think about the soldiers that would wear this when they're actually in battle. And it's true. When you think about what the greatest generation went through for the freedom in which we live today, it's just unimaginable. In battle, as one veteran said, when there was a torrential downpour of rain, you would be soaked through wearing a battle dress like this. Very difficult situation. But you know these men, incredible men, fought for our freedom. And as the exhibition title says, for our freedom and yours, was the cry of the Polish soldier. We fight for your freedom. We also fight for our own. But they always put the other nations first. And thank you very much for coming along to our second video today. And it'd just be nice to remember and to commemorate VE Day and to thank the greatest generation for all the heroism, for the sacrifices that they gave for our today. Thank you very much. Thank you.